Hi Bixby. Change my wallpaper to something nice. Turning on wallpaper. Bixby Routines just got a ton of extra functionality with the latest update, making what you just saw possible. Today, I'll be showing you five useful and practical ways to apply this update that I've come up with to demonstrate the powerful potential this update brings to routines. So if you don't already know what GoodLock is, it's essentially a must-have phone enhancement suite that allows further customization for Samsung devices. Bixby Routines is similar to Apple Shortcuts and essentially lets you automate certain functionality of your phone. This new add-on called Bixby Routines Plus adds further features to start and run your routines. For example, you can now hold the side buttons to start a routine of your choosing, or run a touch macro as a new routine. As you can imagine, this can open up a ton of possibilities, and we're going to explore that today. If you want to install this update, you first need to install GoodLock and then find the Routines Plus module to install, which basically acts as an add-on to the base Bixby Routine functionality. Download link will be in the description. Also, you should stay around until the end of the video where I'll be sharing all of these routines through QR codes that you can easily scan and get started with. The first routine I'm gonna share with you guys is simple but effective depending on how you use it. So as you can see here, I'm gonna long press my volume up key now and it's gonna turn on my lights. Pretty cool, right? I also reverse this functionality by setting it so that when I long press the volume down button, it turns off the lights, like so. This is very helpful as it allows you to match actions with buttons even when the screen's off. So let's get started by first opening up Bixby Routines and then going to the bottom middle corner and press Add Routine. Now to set the condition, you want to scroll to the very bottom where you'll see the Bixby Routine Plus plugin and now you want to select Button Action. Now you can select which button to press as well as how you want to interact with it in order to trigger the action. Now we move on to the action which is what the routine actually does when pressed. In this case, I want to perform an app action so I search for Yeelight, which is my smart light app of choice, and then I select Turn on all lights. Next, we need to choose an icon as well as give the routine a name, and we're pretty much done. Pretty straightforward, but very powerful. Next, we'll be testing the Touch Macro feature, where we'll be opening a Pomodoro app and starting the timer as soon as the routine is pressed. So for this, we need to select Plugin for the action and then Touch Macro. Here, you can select the app that you want to be opened and interacted with when the action starts. So I'm going to be opening Forest, and how this works is you basically have to record whatever you want to be replayed back to you when the action is clicked. So in this case, I just want to press Start as soon as the app's open, and then I press Stop. Now we just need to save the macro recording and give it a descriptive name describing what the macro does. Now we select the macro we just created, press Next, and then we just need to create the icon as well as the routine name. Let's take a look at the routine in action. So I go to my lock screen and then scroll down to the Bixby routines, unlock my phone, and yeah, there we go. The next feature is pretty cool. I'll be demonstrating the fingerprint unlock trigger. Basically, I can set specific commands to open based on which fingerprint I use to open the phone. So in this case, I want to reduce the friction it takes for me to track my habits. So when I unlock my phone with my left thumb, it automatically opens that app so I can track my habits much easier. So first things first, I gotta register my left thumb into my fingerprint sensor. I'm also gonna quickly give the fingerprint a name so that I can distinguish between them later on. Now let's head back to the Bixby Routine app where we'll set the trigger to be unlock with fingerprint at the bottom and then set it appropriately to the fingerprint we just registered. As I mentioned earlier, the purpose of this routine is to be opening my habit tracking app so that I can easily open it uh, as I please. So the app that I'll be opening is called TimeCap. If you want to find out more about this and why I like it so much, you can check out the video I linked down below about my top 5 productivity apps. Now let's turn off the screen and give it a try. So if I turn off the screen and then use my left thumb, it opens TimeCap as expected. Alrighty, number 4. So this one's going to be more of an enhancement rather than a brand new routine. And the purpose of this one is to demonstrate how versatile they can be if you kind of mix and match with the existing Bixby routine features. So in this case, I'm going to be drawing upon the previous routine of uh, long pressing a button to activate an action. So I'm going to be adding an additional condition to the first routine, 
which specifies that you need to be in a specific place in order for the routine to be active. So now we can add a new routine which has the exact same logic as the previous one, but the only difference here is that we're going to specify a different location. So in this case, I'm going to be using my gym as an example. So now, rather than opening and closing my lights, I can set it to a specific need that fits my location-based context. So something that could be more useful is, for example, opening a gym Spotify playlist or opening my workout app and then instantly tracking my workout as soon as I long press the button. I hope this helps express the degree of applicability, applicability that this app provides. So number five is essentially the routine that you saw from the intro setting a random wallpaper automatically at a click of a button, again using touch macros. So in this case, the app will be making a touch macro for what is called a wardrobe. I'll just be creating a quick macro where I select the top image of the day and then set it as my home screen wallpaper before swiping up to go to the home screen. If you're wondering why this macro looks a bit less fancy than the intro, that's because uh, that one used a few swipe gestures to make it look a bit nicer and to also show some more automation going on. You may also be thinking that this routine simply grabs the top image every time, which would be the same image, right? But actually the app itself updates the images fresh daily, so that way we get a fresh wallpaper each time. So now I'm just going to quickly show you how I programmed Bixby in order to respond to change my wallpaper to something nice. So as you can see here, I used a quick command and I literally specified that I will say change my wallpaper to something nice in the second, second panel. And the third label, what Bixby does, is basically what you want Bixby to respond with. So pretty similar to Bixby routines, but in this case I want to launch a routine, uh, which is basically the one that I specified earlier, which is called Wallpaper. Hopefully this video helped inspire and show you a few ideas on how powerful the new Bixby Routine Plus features are. As I said earlier, here are the QR codes you can scan on your phone to install directly for your customization and save some time. Thanks for watching until the end of the video. If you liked this video or found it helpful in any way, it would mean a lot if you gave it a like and subscribed if you're interested in more content like this. Since I'm a small creator, any changes in the algorithm make a huge difference and are much appreciated. Also, if you're wondering how I create this home screen theme, I made a video about this that you're going to check out in the top right corner of this video or in the description box below. See you there.